my favorite time of the day. guys it is six o'clock on a tuesday morning it's dark it's cold i'm not sure if it's raining um and i'm gonna go for a run because this is something that i've been wanting to get back into but when the winter hit in i was like oh i don't want to do that um and it's been about two months mm, six weeks since i last started doing this so i want to get back into doing three morning runs a week um so let's go Mimi says hi. Mimi. Mimi. Mimi, your breast stinks. Come on. Come on, Fatty. We're going to a show today and it's raining. It's pouring. Hey, it's which show? And Pat Wilf is waterproof. I think you need your own. <laughs> You don't have to want to do it. You just have to do it. Are you poorly? Oh, are you sad? Morning, Laura. Hey, morning, guys. Hi. Hi, it's a bit early for a <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. My favorite time of the day. Breakfast time. Yeah. So while my pancake is cooking because it takes forever, um, I thought I'd tell you guys what I've been up to because loads has been happening, um, really good things. So I wanted to fill you in on them. So firstly, last week, um, I know I vlogged on Tuesday and I was meant to vlog on the weekend because I was um, in Merseyside on my tour. But unfortunately, I was in an outdoor arena and the weather was not playing ball. I am literally freezing. It's really hard to film the lessons as well because it keeps raining. Um, so obviously I can't have the camera. And I don't like teaching in here because I feel like I'm really far away from the riders. So I'm sitting outside and it's cold. But anyway. What is this weather about? Vlogging in these conditions is not fun. It doesn't even look bad. It is bad. <laughs> It might not that's mean yours, anything to yours. you, but that was the first time I've done a decent cancer, so I'm oh. excited. <laughs> well done. And it's on the vlog. So for me to record stuff in the rain is really tricky. So I didn't get enough footage to make it a vlog, um, which is really annoying um, because I had a great time up there and I wanted to show you guys, but um, all the other tours are inside now, so I can definitely get some footage. Um, so that's one update. Another update is that my Pixio camera, oh, one of the beacons isn't charging so I'm having to send it back to France. So um, there's me being like this is the last vlog where you won't be able to see me ride. Um, still struggling with that which is really frustrating because I've been waiting months and months and months to start doing this but it's fine. Um, it's one of those things and they are sorting it out which is good. In other news, um, the horses were amazing last week, like incredible. Um, I'd done all my goal setting and I had um, three months goals for Wilf and Eagle and Jaff and it's made the biggest difference to um, how I'm riding them and how we're training. Um, even David said he can see a huge difference. I went to have a lesson with Carl on Wilf in the outdoor again and he was really impressed which is really nice um he was very impressed with our canterpirates which was really cool 
um, and he gave me some amazing advice again um, because Wilf was really hot because he's outside and it's good because it kind of um, represents what he's like in a test so we can work on it which is really good um, so I'm just so happy with how they are going um, today what's happening today I'm taking Wilf to do the PSG and PSG music and I'm really excited because I can put to practice what everyone's been teaching me my banana pancakes about to burn um, what else today is going on oh tomorrow I'm going to Wales on holiday for a few days um, and I'm going to do one vlog while I'm up there because I'm using it as a holiday but I'm also using it as um, to get some ideas down to kind of um, regroup organize stuff because I want to start giving you <laughs> my spatula I want to start giving you guys more value I want to start upping what I'm doing on social media um, and I want to just keep giving out as much value as possible so that is what I'm going to be working on up there um, by the seaside which would be nice but um, I think that's about all I've got to update you on if I remember anything else I will let you know before my banana pancake burns anyway <laughs> this is literally like the best thing ever so Lulu's pretty poorly um, so she's having to go to the vets I was going to take her but then because I need to ride mum's going to take her so that's really sad I hope she's okay Sorry for guys, I forgot to take you with me, but I've been poo picking, finished that off, done the dry room, and now we're gonna get roll ready for Olivia to ride. And because I love her, and I don't want her to feel the cold, she's just been clipped yesterday, I put her rubber thing down my shirt to warm it up. <laughs> Lulu has been to the vets, and they think she has slipped a disc. That's the trouble when you're long. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't actually say. So I think she'll be okay. Weird, I thought she was going to be poorly. Yeah, you can't find any, Joe. Her temperature's fine. Her temperature's fine, she's a bit dehydrated. Oh, then shimmy, I'm going to get beady, you got the rub on. All right, sorry. Right, anyway, I'm going to get on roll now. Eagle was really good. I'm going to try and not fall off roll because she's just been clipped. And it's the first time she's oh, ever been properly clipped. HDF cubes. And mum's put on HDF cubes. Good old spillers. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Here we have a musical interlude. <laughs> oh dear. So Roll was a good girl and I'm now going to get Wilfie ready for his show. And um, yeah, that's about it. Oh. oh, the camera's got sticky stuff on it. What is that? Your hair is so fluffy. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? I don't know what's going on with it. It's so fluffy. <laughs> you just made me look so you? you? are mean. It actually looks quite pretty. <laughs> it looks like, um, you know, David Beckham at the middle parting. <laughs> so you look like a man. Oh no, it started raining. Are you okay, princess? Are you okay? Oh honey. So I'm really excited about this show. I'm feeling really positive. I haven't felt negative going into a show for a very long time. I mean, there, there was the odd exception of when I went to that show and I was a bit emotional and a bit ill and I probably shouldn't have gone in hindsight. But apart from that, I felt really, really positive. Um, I think the reason for this is like many, many different things. But one of the big things is that I've learned to um, enjoy the ride sort of thing so I've learned to appreciate the process it takes to get to where I want to be of course I want to win and do well but I'm also really enjoying the journey it's going to take for me to get there which is so important I mean if you just want the end result and you don't want to do the process then you're in a little bit of a sticky situation okay so we are ready to go and I'm in the biggest waterproof coat ever
so relaxed. She loses balance. Go to the marker. just finished the first test the PSG um, and we had a clear arm which is really good I had a little bit of a wobble in one of my shoulder ends um, and he spun a little bit in his right walk pirouette and his right canter pirouette but like he did all his changes he did his zigzag um, he didn't change up his left pirouette which is something he's been doing loads recently um, so that's really good I mean the only thing I felt that he wasn't connected um, and that's why I can't get him like really um trotting nicely and also like uphill and together and all that um he just feels a bit like flumpy um because he's just not pushing from his hind legs into the bit and that's always been his biggest problem and that's always why we've had the issues with his behavior because he's never had that connection um but that's something that i think will come when we do the into two um and he starts to do the passage and the pushing and all that jazz um but i'm happy because i had a clear round Wilfie just got a PB of 70% in the PSG. Yes! It's the first time we've hit the 70s in the PSG. Wilf! He's excited. It's oh! Laura Barrow on the end of the phone. We've missed Laura so much, we've just had to call her and put the phone well, down. Like she's well, here. it's a three way com conversation. Like Wilfie, four way. I like to keep up to date with how my Wilfie's getting on. Yeah, Wilf's, Wilf's by the phone as well. Oh, he actually stopped and listened. Uh, he me after him. <laughs> Maybe you're just getting to the forgiving point now. Yeah, I'm just getting some logs for Honolulu. Honolulu. Wow, Honolulu. Honolulu. It's just started raining because I'm about to get on.
so music is done um he was very very hot in that one which is weird it's normally the other way around um so i love riding him when he's like that because it's like so much energy and power but obviously he makes um more mistakes because he's just like Brrr. um it was better way of going but um i just had a mistake in one of my in my fours the first change was like um uh explosion and then he was fine he got his threes his pirouettes coming to the moves very excited but he still did them actually no literally i only messed up one change and that was it oh oh actually it was quite good um this is what i mean when i run through you guys like run through with you guys what i'm thinking um i'm still trying to figure it out anyway no i'm really happy um He's just so cool, isn't he? Anyway, I'm gonna go see what I got. It's getting dark, um, and I'm gonna go home and hit the gym. So, Wilfie just got another PB, um, this time in his music. He got 74%. One of the judges even gave him 77%, which is really cool. Um, so, he has just qualified for the small tour finals, high profile show in December which is really exciting because we literally only came to do this one um, for experience I didn't even think about qualifying um, so I'm buzzing so happy so proud yeah hi Dido <laughs> are you happy I'm just as excited as you are. Yay! Normally we come back from a show and Laura's like, how was he? And I'm like, even got Uh oh. He was naughty. Bird. You're a what? Come on then, Wilf. <laughs> so we're just gonna turn the babies out because they couldn't go out earlier because it was weaning and it's gonna be really cold tonight and we don't gonna get a chill. So we're gonna put them out now. <laughs> Let's go! Oh! He's <laughs> glowing. Are you a rave dog? Hey girls. Oh! Oh, now you can really see it. So I'm off to do leg day. Woo! Um, I highly doubt I'll be able to film much of it tonight because um, it's about to hit six o'clock and this is normally the busiest time in the gym. Um, I will try and get some. <laughs> okay, so I've been roped into doing a challenge. Show me. All right, so I'm gonna show you what Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got four moves. We're gonna do five rounds. It's gonna be 200 reps in total. The first move is a tricep push down. So you can be split starts if you want, or you can be squat starts if you want. You're gonna bring it down, up to about 90 degrees. You're gonna do 10 reps. No rest, play over to the other one. You're going to do a tricep pull up. Down, and try and make that run as straight as you can. And then back up. We don't want this. That's not what we want. <laughs> the next move is going to be a bicep curl. The bicep attachment is going to kind of make it look like an EZ bar attachment. Okay. You're going to bring it up, tense, back down. You can go as quick as you want as long as we're not rocking. Okay. Back down, to so a straight bar curl. Okay. Nice, straight back, bring it up, squeeze, back down. As quick as you want, as long as you're not breaking four. You can start on eights, either side if you want. It's not eight kilos, it's heavier than that, it's just a number eight. If you want to go up a weight, we'll take ten seconds off your time. If you want to go down a weight... How do you decide what weight I go on? Would you want to try it? What, eight, eights? Eights are for the ladies, and twelves are for the men. Okay. However, if you're feeling strong, you can up your weight and we'll take time off you. If you decrease the weight, we'll add time to your time. Okay. What are you thinking? Alright, Olivia, you did it in 3 minutes, 24 seconds. New record, well done. I'm in the lead! For now! So that was an amazing gym session. Um, I did that challenge, which was really funny. Um, and I was top of the leaderboard for both men and women. Um, and then a girl called Phoebe, who is 16, and she's ridiculously fit, um, came and did it. And she got, she went one weight heavier than me. Um, so she got 10 second deduction. And she, I think she ended up getting like three minutes, 15 seconds. Um, 
So I was like, no! And I fluffed one part up where I was like, wasn't sure what I was meant to be doing. So that added on like six seconds. So I'm gonna try again. Um, and then I did some legs, did a little bit of weightlifting stuff because I haven't done that for a while. Did some abbeys. Um, and now I'm gonna go home and do late because I'm running late. I've got to do late in 15 minutes. Um, and then I need some food and then I'm clocking off the day. But I've literally had the best day ever. Look who's better, everybody! Are you better, Lulu? Are you feeling better? Yes. We're back again. Oh, she's in her pajamas. <laughs> oh, my camera's running out of battery. Yay! <laughs> no. Sorry, guys. The camera um, ran out of battery, and I've just charged it. And I'm actually in Wales now because I was driving yesterday. I was teaching yesterday, getting all ready to come up here. Um, but I'm here now, and look at this view. So I'm at my lovely family friend's house in Wales. And they kindly said that I could come up here to get a few ideas down, just have a little bit of a break. Um, when I say a break, I've still got my laptop, obviously. But I really wanted to get some work and get some fresh ideas down in this. It's really good to try to change your surroundings when you want to do that. So, um, yeah, luckily I could come here. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, tell a friend. And I will see you for the next one. The next one is going to be here, which is really exciting. Oh,